doing that. Yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll move our average. So full-time workers at Walmart now will average about $13 an hour. And our part-time workforce will average about $10 an hour. So both those numbers are uh, in line or better than what President Obama himself is proposing. His proposal is 10-10 over three years. Um, we understand that that's been a piece of legislation that's been debated for quite some time up there. We've remained neutral on that issue. We are more concerned about what we can impact with our own associates and our own company. The primary voice that we're listening to, though, is our associates. Um, we know that in order for us to be successful in business, and that means uh, meeting the expectations of our customers, which means having a good store experience, requires us to have a highly motivated, engaged, and well-trained workforce. Well, we understand that some of our critics are, are, will, will never really be satisfied, but if I think, if you look across the spectrum, I think most people, uh, uh, whether the people who shop our stores, our associates, or those who have been observing this issue for externally will say that this has been a very bold step by Walmart. Well, I think it's a move that's come about as a result of uh, a lot of uh, pressure from Walmart workers and Walmart customers and others who've been organizing for a number of years to try to improve their wages and improve their working conditions. So, you know, I don't think it's a too big an ask for them to say, well, we actually deserve a little more than just $10 an hour next year. We're looking to find a way to get to $15 an hour.